hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing an etsy order i do art kits and pre-draw outlines on etsy and this is my top seller right here and people always ordering her they love how she looks and i have about 10 8 by 10 for this order on the right is a video of my previous order that i did for 16 by 20 and that's pretty much how i draw it now I'm going to be piping my paint in with these piping bags into these jars right here. And they're about 5 gram jars. They're not really small. They're like pretty they're like a little bit smaller than sample sizes, but it's enough paint especially for 8 by 10. I'm going to be using folk art as my paint. Usually I use my own paint, but I'm going to use folk art for this order. And you can get these at any Walmart or Target or any craft supply store like Michael's. I'm gonna put my paint into these piping bags. Now, if you're only using one color, you don't have to put it in a piping bag, but if you're mixing colors, I would suggest just putting in the colors and then squishing them together to make a mixture. So I have skin tones that I'm using. Um, so I'm gonna use like a black for the hair, brown and a lighter brown for skin. Not sure what color, skin texture, or tone my customer is, so I'm gonna give her about two, two options. I usually come and put about four to six colors in my orders, and six is usually the max. And if you wanna do additional colors, you can always mix. Um, so I'm starting off with piping in my black, and of course I didn't put enough paint in my piping bag, um, but I ended up pouring all of them in eventually. And there's my blue green for the shirt. Yellow for the crown in the background. And this one's such a mess. Such a mess making this one. And we also have our lighter skin tone. Now it came out too camoly colored, so I had to brown that out a bit separately from this video and it's just a regular brown that i was given i just poured in and red for the lips you can always add black to darken it up if you want and i'm actually putting it back in the same packaging that i ordered these little jars in and it's so helpful um such a useful tool just to repack basically repackage it and putting all my jars in and i think i did about 50, 60, I, I, I bought 100 and I used 60. And this is how they came and I'm putting them back, but with painting them. And whenever you get stuff from Amazon or any packaging that you like, always like repackage with it. It saves so much and it looks pretty professional too. And I didn't have enough space for the red, so I had to separately put it in a bubble wrap. I put it right back in the box that it came in. Close that up. Bubble wrapped my red color. And then what I actually did was take my little um, logo thank you card and put it right over the made in China sign from the box. I tape that down really good. There's me. <laughs> I'm gonna use my bubble wrap to wrap my canvases. This is a bulk order. I don't really feel the need to wrap one each one individually, especially since it's just an outline. And I just wrap that really tight and they stay together and tape it up. Here's my box. It has a U-line box that I'm repurposing. And if anything gets shaken around or moved around, everything is wrapped up pretty tight. And there we have it. Subscribe for more videos.